everybody, Michael the Maven here. And real quick, I wanted to talk about a problem we found on the C700 with the first AC, Nick. Nick, there yes. he is. Tell us what happened. Um, so we were having issues with a flare that we were seeing that seemed more like a digital flare than an optical flare. Um, we had just updated the camera's firmware and we had never seen it before on the previous firmwares. Uh, so we went through all the settings, really tried to dial down what this was. Uh, we were in inside a house with a window in the background, and that window was causing a very sharp flare that went across our monitor, it went across the sensor. Sort of like um, a banding? Yeah, a banding. It burned into the image, and what we found was that we were shooting at C-Log 2, which has a higher dynamic range than C-Log 1 or 3 at 800 ISO. And since we were at 800 ISO and it had the higher uh, dynamic range, it then, it was like shooting at a much higher ISO for any other type of uh, log. And that the contrast between interior and exterior created an artifacting digital, it just, it just created a bunch of noise. And you tried to troubleshoot it for about four hours, right? Yeah. Trying to figure out what it was? About four hours, we called Canon. Okay. Uh, they weren't too sure what it was either for a while. Eventually we figured it out that, in, that it, w it was the sensitivity with the higher ISO that was creating this issue and the contrast between being inside with the outside. hard light of the sun outside. So what was the resolution on it? They said to shoot C, um, C log three? Yeah, we went to C log three, yeah. which is more of an all around, which is, it's why they made C-Log 3, was because of issues similar to this with C-Log mm -hmm. 2. And I've heard of things like this on the C-300 Mark II, something similar happened to that. I'm um, sure you're aware of that. I believe so, yeah. yeah. And I've also seen it on the US R, banding in high dynamic range situations when you move yeah. the sliders, open them up, you get banding across the whole sensor. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Of course. So there you have it guys, C-700. And I think a lot of people think like I'm anti-Canon. I'm not anti-Canon, I love Canon. But that camera body in there, that's a $30,000 body, $33,000 body, and basically the answer they got back was it exceeded, that shooting situation exceeded the capabilities of C-Log2 with the sensor. And we've heard that from other people who have been returning, uh, you know, like the Canon R with the banding issues. I've seen it on the 5D Mark IV as well. Canon has a banding problem in very high dynamic range situations, even on their very top of the line C700. So that's an update. If you guys are using the C700 and you're using C-Log2 at higher ISOs, you might see some banding. So that's Michael the Maven. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.